Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I should be killing enemies. This game is pretty bloody. Uh, not like overly bloody, but it's 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 a bloody shooter game, you know? It's it's fun. It's entertaining. It's funny too. And not in funny in like a comedy way. Just funny for like what it is and not in a bad way. It's 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 you know, it's a stupid silly fun action game. That's what it is. Not should not have had a $60 price tag on it. Unfortunately, yeah, and that's just it feels like a $30 game. That's what it feels like. You know, like... And that's unf it sucks to feel that way, right? It sucks to feel like... It should only be worth this much. I don't want to feel that way. But to compare it to, you know, a lot of AAA games, I would still... I would have put this at 30 bucks. It's a great game. It's fun. But, you know, I would have put this at 30 bucks. Switch your sunglasses man. to infrared. Then you'll see the boss. Just for content-wise and... Uh, pretty much that. Content-wise... And pretty basic generic game, you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's it, it, this game could not have cost that much money to make. Look at it, man. Even visually, like, I, it's just for an exclusive game, this game looks like shit. All right, it's it had there's plenty of cool looking stuff in it, but it looks like shit for an exclusive game. You go look at a game like Bayonetta 2 on the freaking Wii U, man. And other games too, even Mario Kart 8 or Super Mario 3D World, they're not... They're completely different styles from PlayStation and Xbox, those types of games. Um, so the graphics aren't the same, but they're beautiful. They're really nice looking, they have really impressive graphics. Donkey Kong Ch Tropical Freeze, really good looking game, very pretty. You know, great graphics and stuff. And then you got Devil's Third, and it's not always ugly, but it's also, it's completely unimpressive. Like, it's not even, it doesn't feel like an exclusive game. It's, uh, visually. It just feels like a, uh, is that a bad guy? I guess so. It's a bad guy. <laughs> just shoot you in the face, buddy. Uh, I, I think the game is worth paying 30 bucks for, and it's fun. But just graphics-wise, it's really disappointing as an exclusive freaking game. It's so, it's like, what? I think that, I, what the, what the, it almost got cancelled, I think. I think this game almost got cancelled, and there was delays, um, there were, like, issues. I don't know what they were, I don't remember, I didn't really read too deep into it. Because at the time, I think, when this game was coming out, I wanted this game. When I first saw it, when I first ever heard it, I wanted, I wanted this game. But I didn't have a Wii U at the time. So, I was like, alright, whatever, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I didn't really read too much into it. I was very interested in the director of the game. I don't remember what other games they did, but I remember, like, you know, I, mean, I had it's stuff I don't keep in my memory. I don't, like, think about it all the time or anything. But they're good developers or whatever, right, that, that made this game. So I was expecting it to be good no matter what, but I wasn't really following all the news because it was on the Wii, a console that I did not own at the time. So, but I was very, I was so mad that it was a Wii U game. And same thing with, with Bayonetta 2. I was like, oh, man, I can't believe they only put that on Wii U. But that Bayonetta 2 was basically the reason I bought a Wii U. <laughs> as well as funding from Dark Alchemy. That was freaking amazing. Uh, you know, I had multiple viewers. and I, You know, cool shit, man. I've gotten a couple really big things. I got my Wii U and my capture card. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, very cool stuff. What was I talking about? I was talking about, like, exclusives, right? And graphics and stuff. Like, see, this is actually not bad right here. This scene for a Wii game, for a Wii game, looks pretty good. This is a decent scene for a Wii game. Wii U. I call Wii U Wii. That's, you know, whatever. They had the same graphics pretty much. <laughs> it's just sad. Uh, but that, but for, for games like uh, th this, as an exclusive, like I was saying, as an exclusive, the visuals on this are incredibly disappointing. Even Super Mario 3D World looks better than this. I, but I don't know what happened. I think delays and arguments between developers and Nintendo, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but something bad went down. And this game turned out to be not, it's fun and entertaining, but visually, like, it's gotta be one of the worst looking games ever. This looks like a Nintendo 64 game right here, man. This is like, like, holy crap. It's a Nintendo 64 game, alright. Anyways, oh, I'm gonna get my butt kicked right here, but that's alright, whatever, no biggie. When I die, I'll just come back and kill these guys. We'll, we'll see what's up. Whoa! Whoa! 
All right, nice. That's what I thought. I thought I saw. I thought I noticed the thing. So if you, if you counter and smack somebody like right away, you do a finisher here. Like, uh, let me see if I can. You have to dodge them and do it. Like, yeah. If you dodge and then attack like right after, you automatically get like an insta kill. <laughs> wow. I never noticed that my first playthrough. I also didn't melee too much in my first. Well, I tried. I tried meleeing, but as you can see, you get your ass kicked. Use your ass. Well, I'm playing on hard too, so I'm getting killed pretty easily. But uh, and mostly, I mean, most of the time when you get your ass kicked in melee in this game is because it's a shooting scene. It's not. It's not a melee scene, so you shouldn't be shouldn't be meleeing. And that sucks. I, I like games that give you the choice no matter what. You know, like you can either shoot or melee. But there's so many scenes in this game where you literally cannot melee because there's so many enemies shooting at you. Uh, so it's, you know, it just depends on the scene you're in. Oh, shit! He got me. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't work every time apparently. Like sometimes uh, the dodge doesn't right. It's a uh, that's the thing. It seems more about timing and positioning, which is pretty cool. I'm telling you, my first playthrough, I didn't really notice the. Uh, I got my ass beat pretty hard, but I could, you know, I could take enemies down. But now I'm noticing there's like an actual like pretty good timing based thing for a very basic game, <laughs> like. It's been so basic, but there's like a good timing on the uh, on the melee combat for like parries and insta kills and stuff. Grenade bomb. 